Hey, this is Dennis. It's been over a week since I've made a video, uh, which I had been trying to make one or two a week. But I just really got caught up in stuff. I got on a job of rescreening the screens for the house, which I'll show you just in a minute. Some of them I did. Um, and then Ringo, the youngest dog, it started, him and his brother was trying to break holes in the fence over here. So I started working on the fencing and uh, wound up Saturday working on it and really got too hot. I was wiped out Saturday night and I just couldn't go to church Sunday. I mean, I was just, should have stopped sooner, got way too hot. So I want to get back in the Word, but I'll just show you real quick um, where I had been doing the rescreening. And I thought I'd done a pretty darn good job. Um, looked at YouTube and figured out how to do it. So... Maybe y'all can get a good... S yep, did all that. So I rescreened every window over here, <clears throat> front and back, and I did all the windows in the man cave room. Got those all rescreened. But then <clears throat> I had the problem with the the dogs so I stopped that and started um, refencing back over there and wound up really close to the swamp down there still got some more to go <clears throat> but um, now I've recovered from uh, the near heat stroke and I still got plenty of work to do, but I thought we need to get back into work. So we're going to take up where we left off. The book of Revelations, chapter 16. We're going to take up at verse 10. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast. And his kingdom was full of darkness. And they gnawed their tongue for pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds. I think we had read earlier about <clears throat> where they're going to get these sores where they had taken the mark of the beast. And it says here that their kingdom is going to be full of darkness and they gnawed their tongues for pain. And that's a, that's a lot of pain. You get the gnawing on your tongue, you're in a world of hurt. <clears throat> the sixth vial. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great rivers Euphrates, which I'm pretty sure Euphrates, it runs through Iraq and Syria. So the sixth angel poured out his vial on the river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. <clears throat> so that river is going to dry up. So whoever these kings are in the east, I don't know, China, Pakistan, India, <clears throat> Russia, Kazakhstan or whatever, I'm not sure, but I guess it'll make the way so they can just march and roll their tanks over towards Jerusalem. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. And they are the spirits of devils working miracles. So these old devil spirits is going to be working miracles. <clears throat> 
and probably going to fool many, was go forth unto the kings of the earth <clears throat> and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. That's the battle of Armageddon. I believe that's where the blood's going to flow up the horse's bridle. That's going to be, Jesus is going to come back as a lion. And they're going to kill a lot of people. Him and his angels. Behold, I come as, well, this is written in red here. This is Jesus talking. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So Jesus is going to come back as a thief of, in the night. And all these false prophets that set in dates and times and all that, don't believe them. Um, Jesus is going to come back in a twinkling of an eye, and that's going to be when you think not. And he gathers them together in a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Verse 17. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came great voices out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth. Now this is going to be the mother of all earthquakes. It's going to be so great. It's going to be like none other that's ever, ever happened upon the planet Earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts. I'm thinking they were talking about Jerusalem. And the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give to her a cup of the wine of the wrath, fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away. Now that's, that's an earthquake. And it, we read in another place where great mountains are going to be cast into the sea. So I'm thinking it's like these islands. A lot of these islands are like great mountains. And they're going to be cast in the sea and these islands are going to fleet away. And the mountains were not found. Think about it. Think about every mountain on planet Earth can't be found. It's going to be flat. And there fell upon men a great hill out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And I looked up, a talent weighs 110 pounds. So every stone weighing about a talent, 110 pounds. Now that's some big stones. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hell, for the plague thereof was exceedingly great. Well, God bless y'all and hope everybody's doing well and don't be blaspheming God. Praise the name. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye.